watching Hello Nigeria. You are watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're not alone, of course. We're joined with TG Banks. And before we get into the meat of today's show, of course, I'd like to find out how their weekend went. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Hello. There's something going on that you both have not told me. Yeah. Have you seen how you're matching in love colors? Love love I'm not love. there. My hand is well, there. like There's something say. going on between both of you. And no, it'd be it's... nice to tell the viewers, you know, is there anything we should know of? Should uh, we be expecting a pre-wedding card sometimes? You're, you're always yeah. matching in colors. She's always bullying me. I, I, I hate to say this, but... I thought I was a bully until I met Esther. I'm not ah. a bully. Don't do that. My future husband could be watching this. Hey! hey don't do that. <laughs> you bully hey. me <laughs> Auntie is busy selling her market on national TV. I mean, if you don't sell it, how will they buy it? My Imagine. Sell it. My future husband could be watching. Oh, did you, are you saying that you, your own future husband? No, no, that's what I'm reiterating what she I said. Just, we thought you said something else. No, no, no. I'm, I just I'm made straight. Sure that we're on the same I'm page. as straight as anything. Well, okay. good to have you both, Joe. How was yes. your weekend? You look weekend? nice, Olive, Thank by you. the way. Thank you. I always look nice. <laughs> oh, the glory of God. <laughs> okay, I'll stop being dramatic. <laughs> My weekend was good. I, I got a video. I. I yeah, I'm still reading the same book. I've Would not read in a long time. I'm proud of you. What yeah, book I've are you reading? I've not read a book since January. And what's the title of the book? Are you asking uh, me? Uh, I'm asking forgotten. Some, you guys should keep talking. Him, I'll man. remember. No, uh, no, but even saying you've not. Sometimes uh, don't last, but tough, tough people, people do. do. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're saying you've not read a book in a long time since January. Esther, have you read a book this year? Yes, I have, but I haven't finished. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've read like four books. I kept on reading, I'm reading stuff, the book. I've not finished stuff the book. And... Nobody remembers who starts. We all remember who finishes. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's, it's okay that you made the move to start reading Thank the book. You, so you know, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. I feel proud of myself. I'm very proud of you as well. The work rate has been crazy. So Now, speaking about reading, a young lady who is very particular and passionate about reading, she goes by the name Success, and she went viral um, on social media a few weeks ago because a certain video was posted online where she said, oh, I was trying to mimic her just now, you know. It's a made a, made a, Okay, it's not working. They're going to beat me tired. They're beat me tired. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, I, I love that video, by the way. So we have the video of Little Success complaining about her teacher sending her out of school and stating, however, that she would rather they had flogged her than send her home. This video caught fire on social media. Several celebrities reacted to the video positively and she's been able to raise a lot of money. Now, not only did this video ensure that Success could go back to school, it also exposed the rot, rot that exists in the educational system, particularly the school in Delta State, showing how dilapidated the building was and how it needed a lot of work to be done. Of course, this also elicited a reaction from the Delta State government. But our focus today is not on all of this because we've already had all these conversations. Yeah. Our focus today is on the young lady who made this video trend. Her name is Stephanie Idolo, and she's come out to say that she deserves to be compensated. We have a little video. Check it out. When we come back, we'll be talking about it here and we'll open the phone lines and ask you what you think. Do you think that the lady is right in demanding compensation or should she just really relax and allow success shine? Enjoy this video. We'll be right back. And that is a video of um, Stephanie stating categorically that she wants to be compensated for the video that went viral, something that was just supposed to be a joke, um, a short video clip of Success Idego, Idejo, Idego. <laughs> success Adeg Adego, yeah. But mm -hmm. that is not the cocoa. The cocoa of the matter now is, is she really overreacting? Is she asking yeah. for too much to be compensated? Uh, and of course, I'll start with TG Bank. Uh, let's leave Libby a job bread. Eh? Sincerely, I feel... She has every right to say what she's saying. I don't want to sound too educated right now. Mm. I just want to support her in every way. Because from what she said, she saw success complaining and just moving past, then she had to call her back and create that video. That's creativity in itself. She had the notion in her to shoot that video. When I watched that video in the first place, my mindset was, ah, oh, too young to expose a child to something like it. It was looking more like a ridicule than humor at the same time. Mm. But let's forget about that. The fact that the parent did not come out all this while to complain that they use their child for such thing without their consent. Then the money, the money started coming in and they, they kept on so collecting she it. Reality. She deserves everything she's asking for. Because okay. without this young lady here, there will be no success. Eh, eh, no, 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 there will be no success. So there will be eh. success. She's neither the mother nor the father of the child. You understand so, what okay, I'm saying? I, I get what eh, you're saying. Don't twist it. But, what, I'm, what I'm going to ask now is, how about the percentage, the percentage claim she's eh. making? She wouldn't Stating have. that if they made about five million, she's entitled to one million. Yes, now, yes, I support her wholeheartedly, even more than that. 
Hey. Yes, now. Wow. Without her, with her phone, recording that video and sending it out there, this story won't be talking about it here. All right, um, Esther, let's hear from you. I, I just need like five seconds to look at you, TG. Mm, look at me well. Just please, give me five <laughs> seconds. Are you, are you, are you done? You really just said that? I said that, yeah. Okay, please, this is my take on the whole story. So, as much as this wants to sound reasonable, you know, by the fact that, then I, I think at this point we've taken it out of what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a good deed. It's supposed uh, to be a matter of us changing the life of a young Nigerian mm. child. It's supposed to be about us saying we want to change a generation's voice we want to change a generation stance in life because if you are doing that for that young kid you are doing it for the seeds that she will produce now if you now say that there should be a price tag put on it just because you feel you're not turning it into a, a money-making venture so what would have happened mm. hold on <laughs> what would have happened if successes parents didn't get the money what would have happened no don't do that what would have happened what about um i'm trying to remember the name of the back. Stop that. I'm trying to remember the name of the young kid in Ibadan. Um, I think it's Taju. Yes. Yeah. Somebody else got, got Taju to talk. The person who actually even did the video was not even a family member of Taju. Now, did the person come out later and say, ah, uh, we got people to do stuff However, for Taju? However, we can't Taju's say that because we don't know because... if the person who did that video was duly compensated. I would only say and this. No, this is, case, no, TG, you, you made your TG, point. hold on. TG, hold on. I'm not done. It's a different case if the parents of the girl decide to say, uh, Stephanie, if it wasn't for you, our child wouldn't have been this known. Please take this small. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Uh, is it, but now, you're now saying... This is a demand, yeah, listen, okay. Listen, and you're actually coming she's, out to say, she's, she's, I am demanding right. that uh, you should do this to me. I Oli, deserve okay, it. I'm glad that Oli, you both have shared with she's, she's missing out a part of the story. Which is? Which is, they are neighbors. And for this lady to have come out to complain, it's, it means they, they've neglected her to her nesting. And after this complaint, they have compensated her. And a lot of things are coming her way. In, you are in Nigeria. Forget all this English we are speaking. Okay. You are in Nigeria. She needs help. She needs all money. Right, she so has I'm come out and she's getting it. And, and the whole event has lost the, the idea and title so of I'm going to I'm going to play, you know, I'm going to defend the initial thought, to be honest. When I saw the video, the initial thought was, why, what nonsense? Why did she do this? That was the first thing I thought. I figured at the end of the day, you don't do good and ask them to repay you, you know, because it just feels like every other person, the, the way I imagine it is, so everybody who has done something good in your life will one day remind you of it. So I remember when Benga was our co-host here. Yeah. Benga mistakenly bought me rice and beans from a mistakenly. restaurant. Mistakenly. Mistakenly. <laughs> Benga reminded us on TV every day. Ah, Olive, what of that day that I bought you rice and beans? <laughs> so that, that seemed to me like, you know, for us it was humor. We were joking about it. Yeah. But you don't want someone to do good to you and then start rubbing it in your face. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought. That it looked like this girl is trying to rub. Yeah. You, don't, you, you shouldn't be the one to demand it. Yeah. On the other hand, this is Nigeria and things yeah, are hard. Thank you. This Everybody is, is trying to survive. Everybody is trying to eat. So to be honest, I'm just really in the middle. I see things mm. from from successes, I see things from the girl's angle in a way, but I feel that it shouldn't have been her. In fact, she would have even stage managed let people be the one to champion and cause and say, ah, uh, let's see this auntie that did this. You now pushing yourself that, ah, I, I deserve compensation. But Taju's Kilo case day. that she mentioned is quite a different case. Taju's case, people were borrowing in, in scholarship. You know Listen, what? When, let's, let's quickly mention money, that before we saying wrap up this conversation, cash. we're going to open the phone lines and ask you what you think about this. So before we wrap up, please feel free to call in because we'll be ending the segment in a moment. But do you think that she had a right to ask for compensation or do you think that she was just really overdoing it? Let us know the numbers to call on your TV screen. So you were talking about Taju. Yeah, Taju's case, we never had any case of money or money being given to the parents. It was male scholarship and we all appreciated that. The fact that the parents' money kept on coming, we heard of uh, Delta, somebody from Delta State government coming to give them like 500000 This young lady here, come on, she needs, she needs money. So shouldn't it have been a situation where it was the parents' prerogative to say, oh, yeah. this lady really if, helped us. Simple. Let's all Listen, see if, if, they, if they had done that earlier, she wouldn't have come out to make this video. I mean, they've not done that. And you won't blame but her. But is that not a problem of the same entitlement mentality that That's we talk about point. in Nigeria? Listen, this is Nigeria. Let's no, it's okay. Uh, no, I'm arguing for both sides. If I were in our shoes, forget I'm on TV. I will do the same. Eh. I will ask money. Money, do you know what money? If I need money, eh. you think I'll keep quiet? You can't ask for one million I out will, of five million. Listen, I will, yeah, I will ask for money. It's my entitlement. Wow. Yes, I will ask for the money. So, so my problem in all of this is, 
It all further encourages the entitlement mentality that we're advocating against in a lot of young people. People feel that, oh, because I did this, you must do that for me. Or I'm entitled mm -hmm. to a certain amount of money. I know th what, what, what this also further shows. Now, there are people who start NGOs. NGOs are fantastic ideas. People mm, who yeah. say, oh, they find a cause and they find somebody who's in need, maybe has medical issues of mm. some sort. And then they rally together to get money. At the end of the day, it's now showing that a lot of people are not doing it for selfless interest. Uh, they're doing it because they want something in return. Yeah. Of course. So they, now they get this money for this person that wants to do, you know, chemo or kidney transplants or something, and then they don't get a, a percentage. You know, this is quite. And it's now problem. Olive, this, this is a different case to an extent. We How all know it that it's quite different. We're talking about edu a, a young girl getting education educated. At that point, she made that video. She did it because maybe she felt okay. If the video goes viral, they will get her school fees paid and she goes back to school. Then the thing went beyond that and money started coming in. And the parent never complained of her making use of their daughter in a negative way. And they kept on collecting the money. We even were more happy that it's possible this girl might be going to UK or the US. We don't know how true that story is for now. But she, she was just there and she felt... Shouldn't she have just come out to innocently beg and say, ah, people of Nigeria, great people of Nigeria, you know, help work in me. Nigeria. And the lady that helped so, um, uh, success, uh, I'd also like help, you know. Or tell us what you did. Say, oh, you know, this is what I do. On Twitter, people do it, you know. Write out a quick bio. My name is also so and so. I'm a fashion Simple designer. This short. is what I did. You can even add as an, ad as an addendum. Gigi, from what you this are is, saying. As an addendum, you can say, oh, I was the lady who made successes viral. Thank you. Success video go viral. Yeah, think that will Me work. too, That's I need things. help. Help my market. People will laugh about it and then they will You think that will work? TG, TG. I, I doubt. From what she has done, mm. her act has ceased in normal reasoning to be called a good deed. Because at the end of the day, it started out as that. It started yeah. out as she wanted... Did you, did you remember her? Do you even know her name before she made that video? Calm down, brother. Chill. Take a chill pill. You need it right now. The mm. point is this. <laughs> no, it's true. Because at the end of the day, it, she did it. Everybody came out. All right. They came out the a... government. They came out everybody. Mm. They came out her When parents. they came out, they didn't remember the did anybody... okay, Let's, let's take let's, this call let's coming. Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Hello? Oh, oh, sorry, unfortunately, we lost that. We are running, you know, fast out of time. But before we do leave this segment, I, I want to talk about publicizing your good deeds. Mm. Now, this also leads further to the conversation of we see situations where celebrities come out to tell you what they've done, or maybe not celebrities. People come out to say, oh, this is what I have done, this is what I plan to do, or this, I so, so, so personally did this and I did this for them. Do you think it's wrong for people to publicize their good deeds? Um, sincerely, I know she would disagree with me. I don't, I need uh, my mind. You don't yeah. know what she's going to say. Are I know, the way she's looking mind? at me, I can, I can hear what you're thinking. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. You should be you the just, person, the next person to do what, what, what men want. Uh, All right, so go ahead, want. tell us. So here? the question is, should people publicize good deeds? Uh, Away from success and Stephanie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should people publicize good deeds? No, no, not really. Pers but, personally, no, no, not really. Okay. Personally, this is just a, quite a different case. I get, a different case. That girl needs money, she needs help. <laughs> oh, let's leave this thing. This girl needs yeah. it. You need, when you need money, you My come out God. and say it. So, so say you need a, help, but she, don't make it be like. Uh, look at what she said. She said, People told me if they, they get five million, I deserve one million. That's people what she said. Told people her. told her. In things like people will start coming over you. They, they make money. People will tell you. That's so what she's, she, said she, she actually listened to people's she talk. She needs money. Let's leave that one. Oh, About good wow. that you said. Uh, listen. I feel when you do something to someone, a friend, or anybody you don't know, you should keep it to yourself. As a Christian, personally, I don't know if I can sound religious here, it's, it's advised that you just keep it to yourself. The more you come out and start saying it, you've already got in your... If you are arguing on that Christian uh, you know, basis, one. this, one, she needs this money. girl she needs should money. not have done that kind guess, of thing, but we don't know if uh, she's uh, a let's Christian. Leave, let's leave that apart. Okay, so personally, Esther, I feel you should just, just keep it to yourself. Okay, Esther, it what It has do you more think? value that way. The last time we talked about this, Olive, myself, you, and Betiana, I asked a question like this, and we talked about... I basically would say, what's the point telling the world about it? Just be happy that you were able to change someone's life or take them away from a bad situation and make their lives better. Now, it would be a different case if it had to be publicized for good reasons. For example, inspiring other people, you know, she, for yeah. example, she did that for success, right? She did a video. Yes, we didn't know who she was at that time. But by the time she showed people that, she actually took her time to stop a little child and took her own time to, to stop what she was doing, to actually listen to that girl and ask her, what was the problem? Why are you this way? That was a very good deed. Now, publicizing that <laughs> brought the results. I don't even think that she uh, figured out uh, it was going to. Listen, it was just uh, comedy. She was just comedy. I she know. Let me ask her one question. She listened. 
Mm -mm. The point was she, when I was comedy, it yeah. made people laugh. I laughed too, but yeah. the point was at the end of the day, after the laughter, we all thought, but this thing no good at all. Okay. And people came out to say we wanted to help. Okay, so in I'm a way, I think relative. In a way, I think I'd agree with you. I was going to say as well that it's dependent on what the good deed is. Mm. Yeah. So if, for example, you come to me, TJ Banks, and you say you're in need of a certain amount of money, yeah. you know, it'd be nice if I can help you to help you. And if I can't, to let you know I can't. Rather than yeah. going to publicize the moment I help you, ah, TJ Banks came to meet me, he asked for money, <laughs> I gave him money. Uh, you know, at that point, she gave it, me defeats millions, you can the process, it. it defeats the point of what I did. However, I could decide to start a gift challenge. So, for example, I think it was last year, last year, December, no, was it last year or two years ago? Two years ago. At the time ago. when, you know, William Uchemba just started popping before he had yeah. the old drama that he, he recently had. He started something called the Gift Challenge, and it was so beautiful to see people basically just saying, oh, hashtag Gift Challenge. We were do At the end of the day, it didn't matter that it was a public thing. Everybody, you know, film yourself doing something yeah, nice, doing a kind act. Mm. Someone is benefiting from it. At the end of the day, we are creating a social change. There's another person who did that, Adora, um, Adora Mbelu Dania on mm. Instagram. Now, Adora Mbelu Dania is someone who, she's a social entrepreneur. She does a lot of work with regards to creating impact. And she also did one big circle thing where you do something good for someone, tell us about it, do a post about it. Mm. So that one, I figured it was a nice challenge. Social media has become a creative tool in yeah. which, you know, it's changing the dynamics of everything. So if you're starting a social trend, by all means, go ahead. I don't have uh, a problem Olive, with uh, For the first time in a long while, I agree with two of you. I don't like the way I'm agreeing, but I agree with two of you because wow. I feel if it's just to encourage people, there are some deeds you do on social media, you have to just film it to encourage your friends However, to However, let's not lie that there's a temptation well. sometimes to want to film everything. There are some things that are not meant to be shown. No, if you want to use it to just get people to join you, it's not a bad thing. The, the problem is for people like us, I like to tell stories. I think in stories, I think in content. I'm thinking, mm. oh, this is a nice story. I literally did something. One day I did a good deed. I won't even lie. I'm not going to come here and act, all, you know, act like a sense. It was around 1 a.m. It was a very emotional scenario. I felt like you know, taking a photo of the person and putting it online and just sharing this story. Yeah. Because it would have been an inspiring story. I had to remind myself, no, Olive, relax. You don't have to put this on social media. Everything is not meant to be there. So we will mm. learn. Social media has come and really twatted, you know, turn things upside down. We will learn what needs to be on social media and what really needs to be in our heart. But let us know what side of the, of the divide you're on. Unfortunately, we apologize that we couldn't take calls. Let us know on Twitter at Wazovia Max, or you can tweet at us individually. Do you think that she had a right to ask for compensation after the video went viral? To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.